Hey guys, recently I showed you my field corn out here and what I said at the time was it was tasseling up top. Everything was coming in pretty good, but I didn't have any ears. It's going to be a little bit longer, then the ears would start to develop. Well, if you know somebody like a Ross Perot or maybe a Dumbo the Elephant, you know where I'm going. The ears have arrived. Looking up here a little bit closer, you can see my ears starting to come in now. Looking like most of them are going to be two per stalk coming in pretty good. So your corn is tasseling, the ears are starting to fill out, you're starting to feel pretty good about yourself, but you can't let your guard down yet because you still haven't made those ears. There's one little critter that will break your heart time and again if you give them half a chance. That's those little brown and beige moths that will come in and lay the eggs and you end up with earworms all over your corn. It makes you feel pretty bad when you've done all this work you got it up to this point and you go to pull that ear off and open up the end of it and you see a worm in there about big as your finger where he's been sitting there eating the whole end of it and sometimes tunneled all the way down the side of it. I like sharing my vegetables and stuff but not with any earworms. This is what you want to have right here. This is my very first ear of peaches and cream for this year. And I went over and I checked it earlier and you open this thing up and see how pretty it is on the end. Filled out real nice. Not quite one little spot right there, but no worms in sight. This is what you're looking to get out of your corn. Not something been eaten all on the end down here and uh, all down the side of it. In order to combat those worms, what you need to do is be able to spray those silks so that when the worms hatch out and they start to go in the end there, they get a little something good to eat and then they die. One of the most common things to use is anything with BT in it, Bacillus thuringiensis. This right here is a product called Thuricide. This is liquid. You can mix it up in your sprayer and spray the silks. This does extremely well. You can also use something like Dipel dust if you want to just come by and dust each ear. I personally prefer to be able to spray so that I get very good coverage. Anything you can find that has the BT in it will work great for dealing with worms. On your corn, your cabbage, broccoli, and stuff like that, anywhere you got a problem with worms that are eating up your stuff, get something with BT. It will kick their butt. Now there's all different grades of sprayers and different levels of gardeners. Somebody like me, these longer rows, I'm going to need a bigger sprayer. If you are a small gardener, we'll start there and you've got just a couple of raised beds out back or just a little, you know, 10 by 10 square that you planted corn in. You don't need to go and buy a big sprayer. You can use something like these small sprayers here. This actually holds about 56 ounces. You just do the calculations. Uh, put your mix in here like you're supposed to. Pump this thing up and it does a good job. You could go along from ear to ear real quick and just spray your corn and not have to worry about mixing up a gallon or two gallons at a time. If you have a little bit bigger garden and you don't want to worry about trying to fill that container up multiple times, just get you a one gallon sprayer. These things are pretty cheap at Walmart, probably like 15 bucks or something like that, and they do a pretty good job. What I like to use is a four gallon backpack sprayer. You can mix up four gallons of solution all at one time and go do some serious spraying. You got a pump handle on the side right here, a nice long hose where you can do any kind of spraying and reach pretty far. Build up a whole lot of pressure with this and it's a lot easier than doing that little pump up on the uh, smaller one or two gallon size. When you get ready to spray your corn, what you're going to do is just spray the top of it right where the silks are. You don't go and spray the whole corn stalk. You're not worried about that. The only thing you're worried about right now is just protecting this ear. The reason I like the liquid, you can see how it runs down. You get a little bit of residue running down the side. Sometimes you get those earworms that come in from the side and they won't go through the top. And if the only thing you've got is something like mineral oil, one of the uh, old school ways of doing this, uh, dealing with worms, if you got mineral oil up here and that worm decides to go in from the side, you're going to miss them. So you just come along, spray your silks real good, let a little bit run down, and you'll be good to go. Alright guys, it's as simple as that. Pick out what you want to spray, match it up with the right size sprayer based on the size gardener you are. Keep those silks sprayed pretty good, and you should end up with some nice looking ears like this. So I hope it was helpful. Y'all take care, Lord willing. I'll see you next time. If you found this video to be helpful, informative, entertaining, or just downright funny, don't forget to subscribe.